Welcome to Origin Storage's first podcast. In this series, we're going to bring to you new product releases, how-to videos, mixed in with industry news. Origin Storage has been in the industry for 10 years, specializing in data storage products, aftermarket upgrades, and now a range of data security products. I'm Chris, and this is Stuart, and today we're going to talk to you about data encryption. Thanks, Chris. With more and more people storing increasingly sensitive data, for example, financial data and patient records, it's becoming ever more important to keep data safe. And we've seen over the past few years many high-profile organisations admitting to losing unencrypted, highly sensitive data. Increasing amounts of people are now using laptops and removable media to store and move their data. With the potential for huge fines, it's becoming essential to securely store and transport data. Recently, people have been resorting to software to safeguard their important files, but this has brought about new problems, such as key loggers, performance issues, software hacks. The solution, it seems, is to look at the ever-increasing range of hardware solutions on the market. That's right, and today we would like to show you the data locker. So here is the data locker. Um, Stuart, would you like to tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, sure, Chris. So this is a pin-protected, um, hardware-encrypted, portable USB drive, basically. So um, if you want to have a little play with that there. It looks a lot heavier than it actually is. No, it's quite light, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, so it ships straight out of the box. You get the USB cable uh, ready to go. All you need to simply do is to plug that into the laptop, um, and it's, it's bus-powered. Yep. Works off a, a single port, so if you just want to plug that in there. So I can use this to basically transfer any documents to and from my computer, is that right? Yeah, exactly. Anything you want, um, irrelevant of what the actual content is, uh, the device actually works by encrypting it on the fly. Um, so it's not, uh, not a case of some of the solutions on the market where you'll see a, a full encrypted disk. So it hasn't got to encrypt the entire drive straight away, which obviously can be quite time consuming. Yeah. This simply encrypts the data you send to it. So there's, it doesn't, there's no slow down when you're moving, transferring data to the drive? No, nope, not at all. Because it's got an onboard hardware encryption, there's yeah. no data um, de degradation speed, if you will. Okay. Uh, so you get a full USB 2 transfer speed. So all you need to do is uh, simply click connect when mm -hmm. you first power the device up. So if you want to use it yourself there, you've got six, six zeros is the default pin number. There we go. And just hit enter. And just hit enter, yeah. And off we go. So when you first power the uh, device up, you'll see here a security warning. The user needs to change the default password. Right. Obviously, it is a, a 256-bit encrypted device, but if you keep the default password, yeah, anyone could guess yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. Quite right. So you hit OK. Uh, in the first instance, quickly pop into setup. Here you can change the user PIN number. Yeah. Um, you can go into other here. You can then change the self-destruct mode, random keypad, on and off as well. So a few options you've got in there. What's the self-destruct mode? Um, so very simply, uh, it's not as cool as it sounds. Um, basically, what it does is allows uh, the user nine attempts at the PIN while that's enabled. After the ninth attempt, that device is then completely wiped clean. Right. Um, so you can't use it. Um, all the data that was on it is completely lost forever. So okay. what it does is format the actual drive and the encryption key is, is deleted. So you lose everything? And Absolutely. Nobody can get any of the data off it? No, it's completely uh, unretrievable. Um, okay. Even been forensically pen tested, which has proved the case as well. Right. So all you do, obviously in the very first instance, you can change your password. After that, simply hit connect and that's it, you're done. That will so then pop up. Transfer yeah. everything. Um, and what's this cable here for? Um, right, so what we do is supply it. As I said, it's bus powered, um, works on 98% sort of, of the systems in the market. What you will find on tablet PCs, they have a, a much lower USB rating, um, so you need the second power. So all you would literally do is plug this in the bottom of here, the second port, that yeah. will give you the extra power to run the device. So I don't need to have a mains power, you know, plug no. it into the, the wall? Socket. Not at all. If you've got enough battery power in your laptop, you could sit in a field and back it up. Brilliant. Quite okay. easily. And I, what was the um, randomised keypad option in the system? Right, okay. So with it being a, a touchscreen system, um, that's the only method of, of pin authentication. Um, because of that, you're going to get grease marks on the touchscreen. What we've done to prevent people shoulder hacking, so if you imagine you're at the ATM, someone could look over your shoulder, grab your pin number, same sort of thing here. Um, what we've done is randomise the keypad. So every time you power the device up, the keys randomly present themselves. So no matter where you've typed, anyone could see you doing it, it won't be the same again. Right. Just an added bit of security, basically. Excellent. Um, so once you've uh, you've booted into it, as you can see there, automatically logs in um, into my computer. Auto play comes up. If you've got any files and folders in there, you can view them straight away. They're all, all come pre-formatted straight out of the factory. Um, once you've copied off the information onto the drive, um, you can literally click disconnect on the system. Once it's finished copying, 
it will disconnect itself okay. and, off, and off you go. And does this just work on Windows or does it work on Macs as well? No, because of the, the touchscreen, the unique touchscreen authentication method, everything you need is inside the actual data locker itself. So there's no software encryption, uh, no software pop-ups for authentication like some devices would offer. Um, what this means is you can literally copy straight from that system onto the data locker, unplug it straight into a Mac, a different site, you know, maybe across the town, up and down the country, plug it into any system that supports USB drivers, Again, pop straight up and off you go. So it's brilliant. very, very versatile, very easy to use. Well, it looks like a very brilliant product, and thank you very much for showing it to me. Not a problem at all. Thank you very much. Later in this series, we'll be looking at internal encryption, network attack storage, and also be providing some handy how-to guides. Thanks for watching.